Hi guys, Mr. Lee's doing the SK Higher Mathematics from 2018 paper 2 and we're going to be doing question 6 where you're given uh, two functions called f and g and they're given by the function called f given in terms of x is 3 plus cos of x and the function called g again given in terms of x is 2x and x is a member of a set of real numbers. So x can be any number you can think of, basically. So 6a, find expressions for f of g of x and g of f of x. And then for part b, determine the values of x for which that f of g of x is equal to g of f of x, where x lies between 0 and 2 pi. So your answer has to be given in radians. Okay, so let's go to the maths. Need to wrap it there, just get it all sorted. There we go. So we recap of f of x is 3 plus cos x, and g of x is 2x. So let's do a part one. f of g of x is f of, <coughs> pardon me, g of x is 2x, so it's 3 plus cos 2x. Okay, f of x is 3 plus cos x, so replace x with 2x, you get 3 plus cos 2x. A g of f of x for part 2 is g of 3 plus cos x. What does function g tell you to do? Whatever you're putting in, you have to double it. So you have to double 3 plus cos x, and that gives you 6 plus 2 cos x. There we have it there. Okay, so uh, for part b, you have to set one equal to the other and solve it. So we have 3 plus cos 2x equals 6 plus 2 cos x. So move everything over to the left hand side. Uh, so the cos 2x goes up to the front. We have the plus 2 cos x becomes minus 2 cos x. And then we have the 3 and the take 6 there. So 3 was already there, so it doesn't change its sign. The 6 does becomes a minus 6. So this tidies up to cos 2x, take 2 cos x, take 3 equals 0. Okay, now hopefully you know what cos 2x is uh, maybe in your head. If you don't, you can look at your formula sheet. And we have cos 2a, that's how it's presented there. 2 cos squared a minus 1. So cos 2x is 2 cos squared x minus 1. There it is there. Tidy it up, we have 2 cos squared, cos squared x. Take 2 cos x, take 4 equals 0. Uh, take 2 out as a common factor, and we have 2 times cos squared x, take cos x, take 2. Okay, we will now factorise this to give you cos x plus 1 times cos x, take 2. Quick check as to whether that multiplies to give that. Cos x times cos x, cos squared x, cos x times take 2, take 2 cos x, plus 1 cos x, gives you take 1 cos x, and plus 1 times minus 2 gives minus 2. So, that's, uh, that's that factorised. So we have three things multiplying to give 0. 2 obviously isn't 0, it's a 2. So if that's equal to 0, we have cos x plus 1 equaling 0. So cos x would have to be minus 1. Or cos x take 2 equals 0. Cos x would have to be 2 here. Now cos x is never equal to 2. It just goes up to 1 and down to minus 1, as you can see from my little diagram there that I drew there. Uh, so where's cos x equal to minus 1? Well, if you remember your cos graph, it's at 180 degrees, or hopefully you recognise that as pi. I should point out with this being a paper 2, you could, of course, uh, use your calculator. So we have shift cos minus 1, and your calculator gives you the 180 as well. Okay, So the answer is 180 degrees, but more importantly, it's pi radians. There we have it.